20 of right now. Robert Randall has won a very unusual court case. He has glaucoma, which is an eye disease that can cause blindness. He found that smoking marijuana helped his sight better than what the doctors prescribed for him, so he asked the government for permission to use the drug legally. But before the permission was granted, uh, he was arrested for possession of marijuana, and the judge in Washington, D.C. dismissed the case because Mr. Randall was using the drug to keep him going blind. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to have you with us this morning. Thank you. You won the case, and the government provides your marijuana. How does this work? What's the, the system? Well, the, uh, there, there are two separate cases, obviously, involved. One was the petition, mm -hmm. which was directed against the federal government, and was merely a request for legal access to quality control marijuana. Uh, that came through, and so now I'm receiving the marijuana from the government. But uh, two weeks after that, the court case was decided. Right. And uh, the court case said that my need for marijuana constituted a necessity and the government could not infringe on that need. So The, uh, the government and growing, are you, are you part really of a research project of some kind or is this, well, this totally is, separated? Well, this is the distinction, yeah. The uh, bureaucratic solution, in other words, uh, the only way the bureaucracies could politically provide me with the marijuana because there's a law against use of marijuana was by making me a research subject, creating an entire research program for me and that's been done in Washington, D.C. But, of course, that has certain drawbacks to it. It seems like a privilege. Mm -hmm. uh, there are two million people, at the very minimum in this country, who have glaucoma. And uh, marijuana would appear to be effective medication on the basis of tests run by the government. Yeah, I'm going to get into that a little bit later, by the okay. way, because we've got a statement from the doctor at UCLA that I'm going to read later on that subject. Mm -hmm. How much do you smoke? Right now I'm smoking between five and eight joints a day. Now. I, I don't happen to smoke, mm -hmm. so I don't know what that really would do to you. Are you high all the time? What kind of an effect no, does it have I, on you? I, I think the problem that people have with marijuana is that it's a smoke drug, so they relate it to tobacco, and it makes you high, or it allows you to become high, so they relate it to alcohol. Uh, it's much different than that. The high that you get from marijuana is very self-induced, almost. Uh, it has very little to do with the drug and a great deal to do with your expectation. <laughs> so if you expect to get high, you'll get high. In other words, you feel quote, very comfortable, comfortable yes. and normal all the time. Can you function? Uh, yes, quite well. Well, mm -hmm. what's what's glaucoma? Uh, it's an eye disease where uh, fluid builds up in the eye. There's there's fluid in the eye to maintain the shape of the eye, and the fluid simply builds up and impacts the optic nerve, causing the nerve to die. Right, and so the marijuana. Yes, all, all conventional right. therapy is to bring the pressure in the eye down right. so that you don't have that impact against the optic nerve. Yeah. Was there, at your trial, was there medical testimony? Yes, there was. There was medical testimony from uh, physicians at UCLA mm -hmm. who had for five years researched marijuana's relationship to eye pressure. Mm -hmm. And then there was medical testimony from my own doctor of four years in Washington. Yeah. Where where do you smoke? I mean, would you smoke, for instance, this morning here? It's or? a little early to smoke yet. Uh, <laughs> my medication schedule would uh, but about four hours after I wake up. Yeah. yeah. And you're on a regular schedule? Mm-hmm. Just like any medication. Hey, let me read that statement, by the way, uh, from Dr. Sidney Cohen, who was the investigator uh, yes. at the UCLA Project, Marijuana Project in California. Dr. Cohen told us yesterday on the phone, quote, most patients who have glaucoma benefit from the conventional medications which are available. For those few who do not, uh, marijuana, the act or PHC, the active ingredient in marijuana, could provide some help. However, it is still an investigational drug and not available for general use, unquote. I'm, I'm reading this only yes. because we certainly cannot endorse uh, yeah, people certainly. because of the people you mentioned. There are a lot of people with glaucoma whom mm -hmm. I assume should see their doctors, should they not, and discuss it? They should, but one of the great problems in the entire area is that the medical profession really does have very little knowledge on marijuana. Uh, the law has disallowed research in marijuana. The law prevents, uh, for instance, there's no reason for a doctor to learn about an illegal substance. He's mm -hmm. never going to have to use it. And so you end up with doctors knowing as little as the general population. What are the broadest implications of this case of yours, do you think? Well, I think the broadest ones are that it blatantly shows that the law, that something is seriously wrong with the law. Had I paid attention to that law, been an obedient citizen, believed that the legislators were acting in my best interest, I'd now be blind. You would be now? Yes. Are you blind in either or I'm, eye I'm or partially? I'm blind in this eye, yes, and partially blind in this eye. Are you worried about going blind now? 
Uh, well, I think you always worry about going blind. I don't think I there's a point so. where you quit, but uh, it is obvious that the marijuana seems to be stabilizing the condition. It does? Yes. So you're not as concerned as you were before? I'm not nearly as concerned as I was before, especially having uh, access to a drug which is now controlled in quality. Mm -hmm. When you're dealing with street marijuana, of course, you don't have that. In the vernacular, they, you hear the term good stuff. Does the government go gr grow good stuff? It does, yeah. It does? Yeah. So you get high quality? A high quality marijuana, marijuana. which is consistently controlled. What yes. do you recommend, uh, you know, based on your experience, and you've become obviously very articulate in this whole area, even concerning the legal ramifications, what, what do you recommend the government do? Uh, well, personal. I'm very fearful that people will think that a solution has been found. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, a solution has been found for me, mm -hmm. but it hasn't been found for other people with glaucoma or other people with conditions that marijuana might help. Uh, I think it would be very dangerous at this point to leave it in the hands of the bureaucracies. Uh, I dealt with the bureaucracies. They were as fair to me as possible, but it took six months for me to get a critical medication. Um, and I think that the bureaucracies are in a great deal of trouble and confused. I think what needs to be done is the Congress needs to review the law itself. So Congress has to get involved and yes, I think Congress see what's does. Going on. I think they'd rather not, but I think it's time they that they do. To. Thank you, Mr. Randall. Thank you very much for being with us this morning. Forty-six after right now. We'll be back with uh, really a throwback to the past, a bounty hunter. After these words from Mr. Coffee. <laughs>